Hey everyone, I'm Argle Thanfa. This is a review for Part of Your World, a Twisted Tale graphic novel. I did review the original book with my wife. Uh, I like this graphic novel. I, I really like the uh, illustrations. I, I mean, I really just like the uh, style of the artwork. It's it's very cool and interesting. Like, obviously, you can tell who the characters are, but it's not meant to look exactly like the movie and I thought it was pretty good on that front. I also think it's an improvement over the original book because it's not 400 pages long. This one is about 150 pages long. So um that's a plus and a minus. Whoops sorry about that didn't mean to knock over my DVD. So uh the the, the minus well, the plus is that it's a lot better. It's a lot faster to read. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the minus is that it makes the uh, plot flaws a bit more obvious. So I'm particularly thinking of like the scenes with Eric and Ursula, where the two of them talk. And we get like three scenes of them uh, doing that in the book. And in the original book, so those scenes are like 100 pages apart, right? And that works just fine. But here, when they're only like, 20 or so pages apart, you could tell it's like, well, it's basically the same scene every time, and it did not move the story ahead any single time, except maybe the last one. Uh, I did think it was interesting to see Eric talk to Ursula, but it didn't move the story ahead. It just, there's a lot like that. The plot is very scattered. I did see somebody, um, another reviewer say that, and I, I would agree. The plot is very scattered, and... I think the big problem with the plot is that Ursula is just out of character and doesn't make sense. And that's sort of that's sort of what ruins the book, really. Is um Okay. So let me let me uh back up here. The premise of the book is that it's sort of a, a sequel to the original movie, if Ursula had won. What if Ursula defeated Ariel at, at the end of the movie? And now it's five years later. You know, Ariel is now 21 years old, and she's the queen of the sea. She still has lost her voice. Uh, Ursula is still on land. She has been Princess Vanessa for five years, and she's basically had Prince Eric underneath her magic spell the whole time. She's ruling the kingdom, building up an army, planning to invade the rest of Europe and take over. And what happens is Eric, well, he's just been writing, like, operas. That's what he's been doing with his spare time. And so he writes like a an opera about a siren. And uh, Scuttle, our friend Scuttle the Seagull, sees it. And uh, one of the uh, plot points in the opera is that King Triton is trapped inside uh, like this little bottle. He's not dead. King Triton's not dead. He, And you saw that in the movie, right? Ursula didn't kill King Triton. He got turned into that weird like plasma green thing kept in a kept in a jar or whatever and so scuttle's like oh my gosh king triton's still alive and he delivers this uh, message to ariel and so ariel goes uh, onto the land breaks into the castle breaks into uh ursula's house a bit tries to break into ursula's room so she can uh save her father she doesn't find him but she does find the shell that kept her voice and so she steals that and breaks that. Now she has her voice back and she could talk. And it also, like that shell also had the protective spell, you know, the spell that kept Eric brainwashed. So Eric is no longer brainwashed. And so Ariel and Eric kind of work together to plot to destroy Ursula. Meanwhile, Ursula is kind of doing like five things. Like I said, the plot is very scattered. So she's kind of trying to get a voice back. And then uh, one time she just tries to making threatening things to Ariel. And then uh, she's also still kind of planning the war. And then she's also still kind of hiding because she has her uh, normal voice back. And people think that's weird. And she's planning to do something with the Elder Gods to make her all powerful. But that doesn't really work. And um, she tries using her war fleet to try to kill Flounder and uh, attack, like, drop bombs on the Mermaid City. And so when that happens, Ariel uses her all-powerful all magic trident to destroy the entire fleet. She has her all-powerful magic trident. Ariel has an all-powerful magic trident. I'm repeating that because 
that should solve every single problem in the book from page one, right? Right? So in the end, um, it's decided Eric will trick Ursula by bringing her into town to see a production of his latest opera, but they're gonna push her into a fountain, which is connected to the sea, and that will turn her back into her octopus form, and everybody will see that she's a terrible octopus monster, and that will defeat her. And I actually think that's pretty much what happens. Oh yeah, and Eric and, uh, Ariel also uh, work on trying to save King Triton. That's why they don't, like, attack Ursula right away. They want to save Triton. And, like, here's the big scene of Ursula. She's in the fountain, gets turned back to normal. And uh, there is, like, a couple more plot points here. Um, the action scenes are okay. Uh, and this is really, like, the only big action scene of, of the book. But I did feel like... You know, if there is one type of scene that could be improved, it's got to be the, 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 these action scenes. So there's a little bit of a fight, but as you would expect, Ursula is defeated, and Ariel is queen of Atlantis. Uh, no, Triton is saved, but uh, it has the happy ending, doesn't it? Yeah, no, Triton's saved, he goes back to being king, which frees up Ariel to uh, go on land and uh, live forever with Eric, and now they have a, a bit of a mature more mature romance. I, oh gosh, did I mention I love the artwork? Because oh wow, Ariel is just so cute in this. And you know, that is not the Ariel in the movie. That's not the way she looks in the movie. I think she looks a bit more realistic uh, in, in this. And you know, she, she is drawn older because she's supposed to be five years older. And yeah, the artwork's really good. So not sure how I would rate this book. I, I th thought the artwork was great. I really liked how the story is condensed and not 400 pages. At the same time, because it's condensed and not 400 pages, it's more obvious that the plot is pretty scattershot. And that's just like my general thoughts uh, on the book. I did like the premise too, uh, but also Ursula, Ursula needs to have like a distinct motivation because it felt like it just she did not have a real good plan of what she was doing. It felt like the author uh, just kind of missed that. And those like the plot and the problems with Ursula were present in the original book. So this graphic novel adaptation uh, keeps those problems, keeps those problems instead of fixing those problems. In some cases, the problems were more noticeable because uh, it was a lot shorter. Okay. So those are my general thoughts on uh, Part of Your World, Twisted Tale, graphic novel number one. Apparently they're making number two, which is going to be the Peter Pan one. Okay, thank you for watching my review. Hope you enjoyed it.